Hello everybody, um, my name is Vanessa Morga, I am friends with Kenra. Um, I'm currently on the world race right now. If you don't know what the world race is, I am on an 11th month missionary trip to 11 different countries. I'm currently on um, month 7 here in Romania. It's a little chilly out right now. Um, I just actually, my last country I left was India, so it's quite a big difference. I'm so blessed to be back in Europe and to be around um, somewhat Western amenities. I'm super thankful for that. Um, so Kenra asked me to just share with you a little bit of what God's been teaching me on the world race. And so um, as I was sitting and thinking about it, I mean, you can imagine that over seven months going to so many different nations um, and just seeing so many different people from a variety of walks of life um, that that he's just te taught me so many lessons in that and living in community. I serve um, always with a team of seven, um, so we live right next to each other and that's probably been one of the biggest ways God has sanctified me is um, through learning to um, just really lay myself down um, and to um, lose any type of entitlement um, that I think that I deserve certain things. He's taught me a lot through that. But of all the things that I really feel like he's pressed upon me, um, I think the thing that he said since month one is just, Vanessa, keep your eyes fixed on Jesus. Um, in all of your trials and all of your triumphs, whatever it might be, um, focus on my son. Um, and so that's really what I've been trying to do and what I feel like the Holy Spirit's been leading me into with different scriptures and with different people he's placed around me. Um, and in that, I feel like he's been asking me to look into the fullness of who Christ is. Um, and so he's so many things to us, isn't he? He's our husband. He's our Lord. He's our Savior. He's our friend, our companion, our refuge. Um, but one of the things he really opened up to me is that husband part um, that he talks about in the Old Testament with Hosea. You know, um, there's that verse in chapter 2, it's verse 16, where he says, You will call me husband, and you will no longer call me master. Um, he started opening me up to that verse in um, probably about a year and a half before I began the race, and he's just really been bringing me into a fuller knowledge of what that means through different studies and um, just through revelation through a spirit of what that means to me. Um, and I love it because he's our provider. He's the one that pursues us. Um, that loves us, that stands by us through all things. And so in a study that I did through Matt Chandler, it actually goes into the Hebrew um, of what husband means and what, I mean, I love this so much. Um, it's three words that are used for husband in Hosea. And the first word means, um, I know all of you. I completely know all of the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, full well, um, you are known by me. And then the second word that follows that is, um, I will never leave you. It's a word that's used in the Song of Solomon. And it's like, even if a fire comes, I'm standing right next to you. I'm not leaving. And I love that, that he's saying, Vanessa, I know every single thing about you. And I still will never leave. In fact, I pursued you knowing full well all those things. Um, and he's saying that to all of you as well. And what I love that the third word that um, is used in Hosea is... Um, is intimacy and oneness with him and so what's so beautiful about that to me is that he's saying um i know all of you i'm never gonna leave and i'm calling you into an intimacy and oneness but until you understand those first two you're not going to be able to come to the third so believe me when i say that i'm staying that i'm faithful and that i'm true and so um he's really been teaching me that um I feel so blessed and what I love is that when you keep your eyes focused on Christ and who he's calling you to be in that he shows you who you are and so he's saying to me I believe in this kind of last half of my race is Vanessa if I'm your husband then that means that you are indeed my bride what does it look like to operate as the bride of Christ um, what what is our king what is our husband like how did he act when he was on earth he was a man that was a servant he was humble and he was meek but he was also bold um, he did the Father's will, and um, and he was led um, by whatever the Father told him to do. So again, just focusing on God and his will, being in his word, and being led by his spirit. Um, we have a saying in our group that we want to be a people that is spirit-led and word-fed, and so I believe that he's really been calling me into that. Um, so 
that's just been such a blessing. Um, I pray that it blesses you. I'd really encourage you all as women to um, open the book of Hosea if you haven't lately and really read um, about what God is showing you through that book. Um, that he's a God that sees all of our ugliness. Um, that he didn't choose a bride that's pretty and beautiful and virginal. He chose the prostitute. <laughs> and, and when she becomes unfaithful, he still goes back and pursues her. Um, a kind of love and compassion like that is so hard for me to fathom. But when I do ponder it, it really um, just empowers me to go out and to love as I have been loved. And so I pray that blesses all of you. Um, I could share so many other stories of what he has taught me. Um, he has been such a good husband, such a good father, um, and just such a good God. And I feel blessed to be able to share him with all of the nations that he's brought me to. Um, I'd really encourage you all, um, just a little fact about the area I'm in right now. There's about 350,000 people in this region, and there's only about 700 believers. Um, we've really just been praying what Jesus told his disciples to pray when he looked at the, um, at the crowd in front of him, that the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few, to pray to the Lord of the harvest to send more workers. And so I would encourage you to join me in that that God would just send more workers out here to Romania and throughout the world um, so that many would come to know Jesus as our Lord and Savior and to exalt Him among the nations. Um, I pray you all have a blessed conference. I pray that you grow in the love and the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, and Kenra did tell me um, to kind of tell you where I am with funding. It's been amazing what God has provided. I needed $15,500. And now I only need um, about $1,200 to fully fund my trip. Um, if you have any questions on how you can help me, um, you can go to my blog. It's vanessamorga.worldrace.org. Um, um, or you can ask Kenra and she'll know how to do it. Um, I hope her speech is awesome. I know it will be and I pray that it blesses you. You all have a great day.